This is Kate here talking to you about our pets. Me and Katie. Kate and Katie. Our pets. We've got a lot of pets and we're just going to give you a quick rundown of each pet. Number one, this is Tomato. He's a cat. He's just a found cat. We don't, Katie thinks he's because he's a Turkish man because he has a stripy tail and he has a little hat and he has little ear tufts. Can you see them? On the tippy On the tops. tips of his ears. Tomato has a lot of personality. He's got my favorite part, excuse me, toe tufts. He has little tufts of hair between his toes. Excuse me, I could have him. Okay. He's and he lets you do chill. anything you to can him. Just hold him. He's I got really love, funny curly hair. I love hair. his side fluff oh, on his belly. face. Yeah. I love his beautiful eyes and his little pink nose. I think I he hates this. Along his body is and he has curly He's some of his hair really on his belly is kind of curly. Belly fur. This is our other cat. Bungie loves Bungie. to stay in the sunshine. He doesn't, he doesn't like to be, to be held. held as much, so I'm just gonna He's fill a him. pretty regular cat. He's, He's also a large chill. these both are very large cats. Yeah. In terms of length and height. Mm -hmm. And Bungie, Tomato's kinda of pudgy. Bungie's a normal size cat. He's just longer. Oh, he's, he's rubbing, rubbing on the tripod right now. He's right rubbing now. the tripod, so that explains that. Don't tell them fighting. Wally Rhodes, my dog. Would you say he, you feel like he's your dog? Absolutely. Since you walk him more than I do. I do. I do. His beard is going. If you've been watching my video since 2007 or whatever, you know that his little beard is starting to go gray. Mm. But he's still as spry as a pup. It's true. The key things about pugs are that you have to clean their nose wrinkle. Mm -hmm. This part right here. You have to... You know, make sure they get out a lot, but they also can lay around a lot. Mm -hmm. Pet tips, number one. Love your pets. Really Duh. love them. Get them spayed and neutered. All the time. Multiple times. Get them both spayed and neutered. Get both. <laughs> What's stopping you? Number two. Don't let your dog learn how to open zippers. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Wally, now, every time someone, anyone, leaves a bag with a zipper on the ground, he opens the zipper and takes everything out of the bag and just strews it across the floor. But dogs don't have opposable thumbs. How could possibly, how could it possibly be that Wally could open a bag that is fully zippered shut? It's not just like there's a little gap and he's like wrangling in there. And he's no. not a show dog. He's, I mean, in terms of being on a television show. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like he's not like a trained circus creature where like, you know, I could see like a circus poodle grabbing the zipper of a bag and holding it with his two paws and like, Opening, <laughs> opening the zipper after being trained, like, you know, vigorously for many years. But Wally isn't that. No. He's not the fucking Jack Russell Terrier from Frasier, which Katie has never seen. Yeah, and I thought it was somehow a spinoff from Seinfeld. Anyhow, point how is, but Katie then tested to see how Wally was doing it. Yeah, I put, purposefully put some food in it fully zippered shut bag and set it on the ground and like hit around a corner to like watch him and what he does is he grabs the bag he pulls it with his mouth and he leverages the corner like a, leverages well okay so he takes the bag and pulls it around a corner of a piece of furniture and is able what? to there he goes. There he goes. he's using the leg I think Wally figured out that we were watching and kind of gave up, but we'll have updates of that later maybe in future videos. But point is, don't 
let your dog learn to open zippers as we now basically have trained him to do since we just basically we watched him encouraged him yeah. to do it. Yeah, but don't do that. Okay, tip number next. next. Really appreciate your pet's whiskers. And look at them. I think some people... People don't talk about whiskers. People don't talk about whiskers, and I think... Okay, cat whiskers, yes. But people don't talk about their really great eyebrow whiskers. I think those are clearly underrated they whiskers. They have eyebrow whiskers. They have incredible eyebrow whiskers, and I think that the whiskers of the eyebrow are really where you can see their emotion and their intention. <laughs> and so it's really important to um, be watching your cat's eyebrow whiskers, um, be looking at how long they are. Okay, when you draw a cat, what do you draw? What are your, whiskers. What are, okay, what else? Number one, number one whiskers. whiskers. Okay. Number two, their up and down pupil eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And what do people do when they draw dogs? Nothing. Nothing. Shit they the just bed. write the word dog. Number three, if you have kids, don't let them write even with washable markers on your dog. Yes. The dog gets humiliated by that. Don't let them write on your dog. Draw don't on your dog. Don't let them write on your dog. Don't let them write no on writing, your dog. No, no matter writing. how big your dog is no or writing. how small your child is. This is why Wally could never be on Frasier. Also, if anybody remembers the name of Niles' wife on that show, I've been having a mind void where I can't remember it. It's like Marfa or Moab or like Marbra. Mav. Marbra. Mave? Maven. Maven? Mavis! <laughs> is that what it is? Anyhow... There's really no way to look You've it up. You've never even seen it. I've never seen the show, and there's absolutely no way to Google it. So you guys have to tell us what it is. And maybe then I'll watch the show. This is my new Google. It's just making YouTube videos where I ask people the answers to questions. That's a great idea. What are some other questions you have, Kate Rhodes? Um, okay, if a sperm whale sneezes... Does the spermatozoa or whatever that stuff is that's in their head that makes them do better echolocation that is not sperm, but people are just too silly to know that it wasn't, their sperm isn't in their head, so they were like, that's sperm in its head, that's a sperm whale. Not true. Point is, if a sperm whale sneezes, does that stuff come out of their blowhole or... Because does they it lose it over time? But does that make sense? Because it's well, they like maybe they make more, eye, just like or, mu our mucus. Or maybe what like I'm as thinking. you get older, like how your eyes kind of go. It's like that. Like what? as you get older, you know your vision gets worse as you get older. Yeah. And so maybe their vision, their echolocation, oh. gets worse as they get older because they sneeze so much. Yeah. Does that make sense? Do okay, we Okay. So sneeze? if anybody can answer that question, yeah. especially if you do it in the form of a video, yeah, that'd be great. Or like an illustrated. Story. Manuscript. Um, yeah, an illuminated manuscript. If you could do that, that would be great. This video was underwritten by Richard, the John T. and Catherine G. Mid Arthur MacArthur <laughs> Foundation, Hewlett Packard, Sunoco, Snow Cones. I love Snow Cones. Yeah, and viewers like you. But mainly viewers like Richard. Yeah. Mainly, mainly just Richard. Yeah. Thanks, Yay, Richard. Yay, thanks, Richard. Bye.